What's up my Legion Knights, it's me Smitosa here from Gaming Studio and welcome to another video. Today we are here on one villainous scene, a mashup with other YouTubers to make a video about one villain in pop culture and analyze their one scene that makes them amazing. Here it's just to pay homage to James Gunn's Suicide Squad, a group of villains that fight a villain. So I'm a gamer, not a film YouTuber, so I need to do a video game villain so that my channel isn't out of place. And since um, the guy who made this thing said that he would put any villain this scene video in his playlist and I need views, I thought this would be perfect for making a video about video games via villains. Many people consider GLaDOS or Bowser to be some of the best video game villains out there, I included. But one villain that I think is really good is Carl Heisenberg, the adopted son of Mother Miranda. During Heisenberg's first encounter, he looks more like a Magneto Gandalf ripoff. He then takes us to Mother Miranda, and we see a very angry and just dangerous side of him. Quiet now, child. It's like he and Dimitrescu are both crazy, angry siblings who just hate each other's guts, not just for the sake of being siblings. Throughout the game, Heisenberg has amazing scenes that really show off how dangerous he is, but the one scene that I really think is incredible and shows his villainousness that's a word, is the scene where he invites Ethan to his factory. After defeating the tall lady, we find out that Rose was torn to shreds by Mother Miranda in order to find out whether Rose is powerful enough to be a host for her daughter. Here we have to find all of Rose's fragments from all the remaining lords. Donna Benebiento, Salvatore Moreau, and Carl Heisenberg. It was hinted on that Heisenberg was considered the most dangerous of all the lords, and possibly Miranda's greatest. After defeating Moreau, it's like, okay, one more epic CGI monster fight, and then we're done. You're better off than I thought. What? Who's that? Oh, come on. What the hell? We just met a while back, not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Are trying to get on my good side? So don't get caught. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that, and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. Here, Heisenberg completely differs himself from his siblings in how he talks and how he communicates with us. Before, it was more like a childish way with Donna, Moreau it was like crying, jealousy. Here, it's just a normal adult conversation, something that the other lords didn't have. This just shows how different Heisenberg is to his siblings. Another key difference is Heisenberg's place in Ethan's story. All the other lords in the game tend to act more as obstacles or just targets for Ethan to move past and overcome, as that's the whole point of the game. But Heisenberg is different. He's not an obstacle, and neither is Ethan. His goals and motivations are similar to that of Ethan's. And this kind of reminds me of the Joker and Dark Knight from the movie Dark Knight, where the Joker and Batman had the same motivation, the soul of Gotham. Ethan and Heisenberg have the same motivation, to save bros and gain their freedom. We also see that Heisenberg hates Miranda with all his guts, every cell of his being, he hates his adopted mother. Which is kind of different from the other lords who literally worship her, basically stand over Miranda. And they're all just like, I need to please the mother, I need to please her, and all that other stuff. But Heisenberg's just like, 
No way, I ain't doing that. I ain't gonna do whatever I want. It's also very ironic and very um, out of place because you have Moreau and Heisenberg and they're both practical opposites. Heisenberg is considered Miranda's greatest accomplishment and her favorite child basically and he basically hates Miranda the most. Moreau is considered Miranda's greatest failure yet he loves her the most. So you have this irony of her greatest accomplishment is her biggest hater and her greatest failure is her biggest um, fan. This scene also shows that Heisenberg is one of those villains where you can't help but like. They're just like so hard to hate and not in the way of sympathetic but just more in the way that they're just so cool and so fun that you really want to root for them, that you really wish they were the good guys but you know they can't because otherwise the story won't have an antagonist and they wouldn't be as cool since villains are cool. This is also what makes Ethan not taking Heisenberg's offer very frustrating as Heisenberg's a very likable person and he has an obvious motive which is very similar to that of Ethan so it would make sense that the two join forces however Ethan knows full well that Rose can't be used as a weapon as he knows what would happen if she did. In Resident Evil 7 there was a 10 year old girl named Evelyn who is used as a bioweapon before she turned insane and killed everyone. Ethan knows that would happen to Rose if he went with Heisenberg and didn't want that for his daughter. Plus Heisenberg didn't really care much about Rose's well-being and more about his freedom. This in my opinion is what makes Heisenberg a really compelling villain because of how likable, how different, and how just phenomenal he is. That's my one villainous scene video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought about this video and whether or not you saw James Gunn's Suicide Squad. <clears throat> That's all for now, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.